Hey guys, this is Henry from OBD again. Today I'm going to be explaining you how to apply parallel processing using the mix knob on your Studio One inserts. So, let's see what we have here. Here's my Studio One song. I have a single track called Loop One. It's a stereo audio track and I have a loop uh, enabled here uh, from that starts in bar one and ends in bar seven. Let's go ahead and press play to listen to it real quick. Okay, so you have the idea. So, um, how do we do parallel processing using the mix knob? Well, if we go ahead and enable or show our console by clicking on the mix icon, bottom right corner of the window. We're going to see our console there. So how do I apply the parallel processing? Well, if we go to our inserts, our plus sign, and we select any of the Presonus inserts, let's say Big Crusher, something obvious. As you might know, the Big Crusher basically distorts your signal by crushing your bit depth. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and take this mix knob all the way to 100% so that whatever I do with the bit crusher, it's it, it, it's going to be completely obvious. So let's take this down to 4 bits and let's press play, see what happens. Okay, I think it's pretty obvious, right? So parallel processing. This has to do with this mix knob here. What happens is when you have any of these plugins or any of these inserts that have a mix knob, uh, what the mix knob does is that it combines in parallel the unaffected versus the affected signal. The unaffected, it's typically at 0%. That means that whatever you, you listen to when you're at 0%, it's 0% being affected by the insert. So you're basically listening to the original signal. When you do 100%, you're only listening to the affected signal coming out of the insert. When you do, let's say, 50%, there it is, 50, uh, almost, 50%, you're listening to the original signal as well as a signal that, ha that passes through the insert at the same time. They're being combined in parallel, and it's all being done at the insert. So, uh, let's give it a shot. If I go to 0% and I press play, I should be listening to the original signal. Let's see if, it, if, let's see if it's true. It is. So if we go to, let's say, 50%, we should be listening to half and half. There it is. Now, if we do, let's say, 10%, 10% means that 90% of the signal you hear is going to be the original signal, and only 10% is going to be the affected signal. So in this case, it is obvious. You can listen to the original signal, the original loop, and then there's that little noise created by the big crusher um, at, at, at behind the original signal, because it's at 10%. The closer you get to 100, in this case, the, mo the more distorted it's going to get. Because you're going to be feeding more of the bit crushed signal compared to the unaffected uh, signal from the loop track. So that's how you do parallel processing with mix knob, with a mix knob on any of your Presonus inserts. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop.
Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost-effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.